Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Carousel Technologies tutorial series. In this tutorial I will show how to use iStorage server under VMware ASXi server. Such combination will allow you to expand your virtual server. It will also allow you to use storage devices that you have connected to existing Windows servers to the VMware ASXi server with IPSAN solutions provided by iSearch server you will be able to set up operating system install applications and server software as well as store the data required by your virtual machines you can expand storage used by ASXi server by three most commonly used ways first one is use of virtual image file in order to create a file based virtual storage device for VMware SXI server. This will allow for quick data migration and backup. Second way is direct use of physical disk partition of Windows Server that will help to make a good use of available resources since no additional configurations are needed simply adding storage media as iSCAS target is enough and the last one is use of CD DVD devices or CD DVD image files this will allow you to add physical or virtual CD DVD devices to your SXI virtual machine First, you would need to install SXI server. To install an SXI server on a suitable machine that can support virtual environment, please contact the VMware supplier. Now, we can finally start training our target in iStorage server. Therefore, please turn it on. We will create a new target using image file with chop authorization. I plan to install Windows XP on that file. That is why I think 5 GB is more than enough. Of course, choose here CHAP authorization, and I will also change name of the target for Windows XP, and I can finish creating target. Now we need to create a new users group. Click on the groups on the left side panel, right click on the empty space, and choose new group. I will name this group SX group and click OK. Now we need to create users that we will add to this group. Therefore click on the users, right click on empty space and choose new user. As username I will type SX user. Please keep in mind that password length should be from 12 to 16 characters long and it is case sensitive. Now we need to add group to our target, so click on the target name and switch to chop tap. Right click on empty space and choose add item. Choose our new group and click OK to continue. Now we can minimize our iStorage server since we finished configuring everything in it. Now we should install VMware vSphere client. I already have a package prepared here that I downloaded earlier. I will post a link in the description box below. Installation process may take up to a couple of minutes, therefore I will just skip it. After the installation is finally finished, we can start up our vSphere client.
type your IP address of SXI server and provide all necessary login credentials and press login. After we will finally see vSphere main interface. We can start by adding new network, therefore please switch to the configuration tab. Click on the networking in the left side panel in the hardware group and click on add networking. Here choose VM kernel and please click next to continue. We will use vSwitch0 and click next to continue again. We can name our new network. Here we need to type IP address and subnet mask of our network. After checking is everything is in order, click finish. After our network is finally added, we need to configure our ISCA storage. So please click on storage adapters in hardware group. And click on the properties. First, make sure that after clicking on the configuration button, status box is checked, on enabled. Also, now we need to disable delayed ACK, otherwise it may result in slow read performance and even interfere with high availability between servers and Sun itself. To do it, click on the advanced button, scroll down and make sure that Delayed ACK is unchecked. Click OK to continue. Now we need to add our iStore server to dynamic discovery. Please click on Add button. Type IP address of your iStore server. And click OK. As we can see, my server was already there. Now we need to switch back to the general tab and we need to set up chop. For this, from this list please select do not use chop unless required by target. Therefore we can also add target that don't use chop authorization. Provide chop username and target secret as you set it up earlier in iStorage server and click OK. When we will see prompt window asking for rescanning adapter, just click on yes. After process will finish, Please switch to the storage menu in the hardware group. When we are finally in our storage settings, we need to add new storage by clicking on Add Storage in the top right corner. Choose Disk LAN and press Next to continue. From this list, choose the target we just created in our storage server. But we just need to wait a second for it to populate the list. Choose target you created earlier. As you can see it has 5 gigabytes and it's a short Windows XP. Click on continue here. Here we can choose name for our storage and we can finally finish creating it. 
Now we can create a virtual machine. Therefore, switch to the virtual machines. Press Rust Nice button. Choose new machine and just follow the wizard to create machine based on Windows XP. Choose Windows XP storage. Choose operating system. I think 3.5 GB should be more than enough to install Windows XP. And if everything is correct, just press finish. Then just boot a virtual machine and install operating system like on a normal computer. Thank you for your attention. That is all I have prepared for today and talk to you soon.